Hello, St. Joe's and everyone checking us out on social media. I'm Sharon Lentino, Secretary of St. Joseph Catholic School and a parishioner for 26 years. We are now in week five of our theme, Grow. This series is about growing in maturity as followers of Jesus, taking our identity as Jesus' followers to the next level. If you missed previous content, be sure to head on over to the website after this video for all things grow. This week's message is about making faith personal. When faith becomes personal, that's when it changes our lives. In the first reading this past weekend, we heard about a man who is an outsider. He's not from Israel. His name is Naaman, and he has leprosy. He travels a great distance to Israel, seeking the healing of a prophet named Elisha. Elisha doesn't even come out to meet Naaman when he arrives. He sends someone to tell Naaman to, of all things, wash in a muddy river. Naaman sees, seems annoyed at this, but does it anyway, and is healed. His experience of being healed by God, even though he didn't know him personally, opens his heart and he makes an amazing statement. We read in Second Book of Kings, Naaman returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. This comes from 2 Kings 5.15. Faith begins to become mature when it moves from an impersonal exchange of words and actions to a personal faith that takes root in the heart. The circumstances that led to Naaman's faith were twofold. First, they came from a place of weakness and vulnerability. Naaman needed healing and his need for help was unmistakable. He recognized that without God's healing and help, he was done for. The second important ingredient of the story is that he surrendered his will. He had ideas about how God would heal him, but his ways were not God's ways. His plan for how to be healed was not God's plan. In prayer today, name the weak places in your life that need the most healing. Invite Jesus in a personal, open way into your heart, as if you're talking to your best friend. Ask that God's ways be done. We hope you'll join us for this coming weekend, the next homily of Grow titled, Skin in the Game. Join us to find out about sacrifice and commitment in faith, even when it's hard. Please like this video and share it with someone you know who might get something out of it. We are so excited to have you with us as we grow.